Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary and in today's episode, we're going to go through all the parts that we went ahead and ordered over the weekend for two projects we have going on this week. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another episode. As I said, you know, uh, we went ahead and ordered in a lot of parts over the weekend. Um, I had a new project uh, get brought to me. It was a 2002 Ford Windstar. Uh, it's one of my wife's old shipmates from the Navy. And uh, if you guys don't know anything about me and my family, my wife was Navy, I was Army. I always tell people it's always fun once a year at the Army Navy game. <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, yeah, so she has a lot of stuff going on with her Ford Windstar. She's needing a new flex pipe put on, uh, which if you guys have ever had your flex pipe go on your vehicle, man, that sa it sounds like a motorcycle or uh, you're running straight cats pretty much, you know, so it's just loud as ever. But uh, <clears throat> she needs a new flex pipe, she needs a uh, new suspension, uh, both inner uh, tie rods need, need uh, replaced, uh, her stabilizer link, and her sway bar uh, bushings are shot. So she just uh, moved down here from Maryland, from Virginia, <clears throat> wait, <laughs> to Virginia, from Maryland. There you go. Hey, I've only had one energy drink, guys, and uh, here's a tip, guys. Just in case you're wanting to know, should I drink my energy drink on a bumpy road? It's not a good idea. I, uh, yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> but uh, it's just a, a, a great opportunity to learn more about the, uh, the vehicles that are out there and the stuff that needs completed. The, uh, the local shop wanted to charge her, uh, what was it, $1,000 to uh, replace all of that. So it's, it's just amazing, you know, and, and it wasn't even all that either, you know. Uh, it was just going to be some of the uh, repairs that were needed for the vehicle. So that's the, uh, the sad part, you know. Uh, a lot of shops are like that. But that is why this channel was created. This is a DIY auto repair, okay? This isn't just your simple learn how to uh, replace your spare tire, but many more things. So if you are looking for a DIY auto repair channel, then this is your spot. I want you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. <clears throat> Hit the bell notification so you know when uh, any new video is released on my channel. But the Windstar is not the only thing we have for this week. We also have the Ford Taurus. I was approached by someone uh, that I know up at Bush Gardens. Um, <clears throat> He's uh, one of the supervisors up there, and he gave me a shout, and uh, he said, you know what, I, I heard you uh, fix cars. I said, yeah, you know, I fix cars. And we talked about it a couple minutes when uh, I was up there fixing uh, some equipment the other day, and uh, he's looking for something for his son. So I got the Taurus coming up, and uh, <clears throat> so I went ahead and ordered the, uh, the parts I needed in for that, which were the... Um, the water pump seals, of course, anytime you take off the uh, uh, the timing chain cover, you want to replace that cover and uh, not cover you. <laughs> if the, the cover has a bunch of pits in it, you do, in which we will um, we'll go over in the video, okay? Uh, when we do that later this week. But those seals have to be replaced. The gaskets, okay, they're made out of paper and over time they're gonna get all torn down and beat up. So you wanna replace those anytime that you actually take the things apart. So I went ahead and ordered in the gaskets, I ordered in the starter, and I ordered in the new timing chain with sprockets. So those are uh, three repairs we'll be making on the Ford Taurus this week. <clears throat> I almost forgot that we had to do a couple freeze plugs on there as well, but those brass freeze plugs don't cost that much, so it won't be too bad. But 
So those are the two repairs we have in this week. Um, yeah, Windstar is just going to be a, a lot of work, but I went ahead and told her that I should have it done by Friday. Uh, all the parts should be in by Wednesday. Um, and I'll also be throwing all the links to uh, all the parts as well to their associated videos. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys. But, hey, I hope you like all the videos. I hope they are very beneficial for you guys. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Oh, man, so cool. <clears throat> all right, so if you have a Mopar vehicle, I'm talking about Jeep Grand Cherokee, a Dodge Ram, a Chrysler Town & Country, okay? Those key fobs, if you go to the dealership, they're going to charge you $200 a key okay to get the key and program it okay programming is a lot easier than you guys think i went ahead Yeah. Mm -hmm.